Hey, hi. In this video, we would be integrating our test engine report with Jenkins. Okay, so before we start making our build, let's just first have a look at the project that we would be running. Uh, we would be using the same simple cooking by process that we used in our previous videos. This would be a simple uh, cucumber project that is using test engine. Okay, so let's go back and create our build or rather create our job. I will name this as test ng integration. Okay, and select freestyle project. Click on OK. Then I will configure it to use my Git repository. Then add in the Maven build step, Maven test. Uh, we have seen this uh, in our previous videos also. Okay. So click on apply and save and just run it once to check whether everything is working fine or not. So things are working good. Uh, let's just have a look at the output once. Okay, so this is working fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and integrate this with TestNG. For that, we are going to use a plugin called TestNG plugin, right? So go to Manage Jenkins, go to Manage Plugins. Then in the available section, search for TestNG. And I uh, will get TestNG results. We are going to use this plugin. Select this and click on Install without Restart or you can do a uh, install after you start also wait for this to finish once the installation is done go back to your build that was go back to your job that was test engine integration again let's configure this go down into the post build action section and why post build because you know uh, these are test results right so results are generated generally after my bill has executed right, right so after my tests have run so naturally this will be in post bill actions so add a post bill action and search for something related to test ng okay there is nothing so most probably my plugin is not available over here so let's go back to the plugin section and see what happened sorry plugin section manage jenkins Let's go back to manage plugins and check this time let's go for installed because we have already installed it and check what happened so we installed a test ng plugin okay so it's not enabled it right we installed it but it did not enable so just click on this and it's asking to restart once so let's restart this and wait for my jenkins to be up again Okay, so my Jenkins has finished restarting. Let's have a look at our job and see if my plugin is available or not. So I'll go back to configure, go down to my post bill action section, add a post bill action, and here we have it. We have got published test ng results. I'll click on this, and over here we need to provide the address of our test ng XML report. Right. Uh, so this would actually work because this is going to search for uh, test ng results in each and every uh, folder location right so i'll just click on apply and save and before i run this uh, let's just have a look at our workspace right uh, so this is where my uh, jenkins is going to search for the test ng result so let's go into target generally it is there in target section and it would be there in surefire plugin right so this is the file that it is searching for test ng results.xml okay you can provide in the uh, address from here also the complete address but for now let's leave it as it is because that would suffice right okay now let's just run this once and see what happens Let's have a look at the logs in the meantime. It's running. Good. Okay. We have our result, and you can see in the logs also, it's showing that we are processing 
the testng results.xml it found it and it has published it also let's go back to my status build okay here we can see there are two two new sections that have been added or two two new links that have been added test ng results and in the left hand side also test ng results they both point to the same location right so let's just click on this once and see what is there so it shows me my result and my latest build let's just run this again right so we would get a graph after this has run at least twice so my build has finished running let me just refresh it once again you can see the graph over here cool so you can look at the latest result from here you can look at the total results or you can just go into every single build and check the results over there that even in the, in the status section you will have a test engine results tab, op tab open okay so that was almost all for test engine results or rather test engine integration next let's have a look at cucumber integration Thank you.